Bears played the Russell Wilson. What was his first job game? I don't know if there's an official game, but we're creating one. All right, let's go around the room. What do you think Russell Wilson Jr., the third's first ever job, paying job was? Paulie? Paying job. Paying job. Caddy at a local golf course. I'll say delivering newspapers. All right. McLovin? I'm going lifeguard. Uh, Fritzy, do you have a... Uh, uh, I'm going to say he worked in a shoe store. Joining us uh, now is uh, Russell Wilson, the Seahawks quarterback. First paying job was what, Russ? First paying job. What's up, fellas? First paying job uh, was actually babysitting. Would anybody do skydiving if I could somehow arrange it and we could do it for free? Yeah, I think I would. Okay. Probably not. I probably would have done it if it was available before I get it. Okay. Yeah, for two. Now, are you doing it like to say you did it? Or is the experience going to be that life-changing or that incredible that it's worth the risk, especially if you have a family of something going horribly wrong? I can't imagine that being worth the risk. I have the odds of getting killed skydiving. Um, there's a point zero 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 seven chance of dying in a skydive compared to 0. 0.0167 of dying in a car accident based on the average driving of 10,000 miles. You are 24 times more likely to die in a car accident that in your lifetime than in a skydiving. Life. Matt Schneidman is the Raiders beat writer for the Mercury News, and he joins us now. All right, Matt, what kind of drama should we expect on Thursday night with your Raiders? I think you can really expect anything. You know, if there's anything I've learned about covering a team John Gruden is associated with, it's that nothing should come as a surprise. And I know the talk of the last day, who is this surprise pick going to be? I said yesterday, you know, they could pick Booby Miles, and I wouldn't even be surprised because you, you just never know what the Raiders are going to do. Got some people who are complimentary here. Uh, uh, Dan, can we have this voice uh, all the time? <laughs> Remember the Friends episode where Phoebe tried to get sick again because her voice was so incredible. That's uh, from Dave. Thank you, Dave. Yes, Paul. This would be a good time for you to work on some of your uh, Johnny Cash uh, covers. Ooh. I fell into a burning ring of fire. It it's starting to sound more like John. Thank you. This is from Whiskey and Cigarettes, though. And maybe you're... you're uh, mine would be from tequila. Tequila and petting a cat. We got new words here. Uh, Webster Dictionary. These are sports words, Polly, right? I think twice a year they unveil new words. Swole. S-W-O-L-E. Adjective. Extremely muscular. Having a physique enhanced by bodybuilding exercise. Didn't Fritzy say that he was swole when he was younger? That's a word that's catching on with the kids these days. I mean, you were swole back then. You just didn't know that you were swole. I was not aware of that. Now he has swelling and discharge. <laughs> oh, by the way, Fritzy's working on his Kevin Harlan impersonation. I didn't know you had it, but uh, you said you were working on this. Giannis from the corner, and it's now 9-3 <laughs> Milwaukee. Three minutes gone by first quarter. Fritzy says that no matter what it is, like no matter where the score is, that he Kevin Harlan's excited. They have a chance to cut it to 9-8, a three-point play for Detroit. <laughs> Check out the Dan Patrick Show weekday mornings on Audience or stream on VR Live.